We limit ourselves in why. Yes. You hold yourself back when there's no reason to hold yourself back. But there is no reason, as a friend of mine told me, Mike, he said, Michael, there's no reason that a black man with a gap tooth in his mouth who can't say the letter S without spitting on people should be on TV talking for a living. And he's 100 percent right. <laughs> so I have proven that the Matrix works. <laughs> Anything is possible. The thing I loved about playing and the one thing I love about work and working with a lot of people is the leadership aspect. It is the opportunity to get so many people to believe in one thing that makes everybody better so that everybody wins. And in order to do that, you, may, you have to make everybody have value and feel valuable. I don't care if somebody's sweeping the floor or the, or the president of the company. Everybody needs to be treated like a human being with value. And if they are, they will do anything for you. And once he got that down, guys would do anything for him. Hey yo, spark up the Phillies and pass the stout. Make it quick, money trip, pull your asses out. In a street brawl, I strike men quicker than lightning. You see what happened to my last white friend, I ain't been. Else a clever threat, a lyricist who never sweat. Comparing yourself to me is like a bench to a chevrolet. And clown rappers, I'm bound to slay. I'm saying hi to all the duties from around the way. Yeah, cause I got all of them strong. My girls are like boomerangs, no matter how far I throw them, they come back I'm coming straight out to NYC, I'm down with digging in the crates and I'm MVP Battles I lose none, I make crews run, I get fools done Got ten fingers, but only use one I run up like machine gun Kelly with a black skelly Put one in your belly, leave your smelly, then take your belly belly I'm the neighborhood man, but who not even will mess around You find my silk boxes in your mommy sample And nowadays girls want you for your money
make decisions. It's just to you. You know, you make choices in your life. You program your mind to either be happy or not. That's mm -hmm. a choice that you make. It's not something that somebody else makes for you. It's not, um, not even your situation. No matter what the situation, you truly do make the choice to be happy in that situation or not. And we also have the ability to change a situation that we're not happy with. But everyone thinks it's easy. Everyone thinks you're not scared. And I tell you, and everyone thinks you haven't had failures. I've had plenty of failures. But I don't look at failure. I've never looked at a failure and said, uh, oh, woe is me. Oh, I don't know. I'm just programmed. Say, oh, it didn't work. Okay, let's go. Next thing. Work harder. Figure something else out. Yes. Keep going. I'm not programmed to go. It didn't work out. And let me contemplate and feel sorry for myself. And, you know, and, and, and go over here and get sympathy. I just, I don't know if it's the way I was brought up or if it's from the business of football where it's a win or lose. <laughs> it's like success or failure. And if you lose a football game, I don't have time to think about how I lost it and what I did wrong because if I'm doing that, the, next, the guy I'm playing next week is getting ahead of me. So I gotta worry about what's coming up next and push for what's next and get better for what's next. Not get better for what's in the, not, not worry about what I wasn't good enough for in the past. And I've done sitcom fail, um, business a fail. You know, you, but you figure it out. Life is about figuring it out. Life is not going to be perfect. And if you expect it to be perfect, you're fooling yourself. And a perfect life without a challenge is not a perfect life. It's a boring life. Boring. Did you see the movie um, War Dogs?
that movie, everybody watched it, they talk about how great it was. And I'm one of these guys, you tell me how great everything is, uh, it can't be that good. And I wait. <laughs> so I didn't see it until it was on like one of these cable channels. And I'm watching it, and that point where he, they, he gets shot, mm. and you think he's dead, and then she believes in him and she kisses him and he comes back and then the Mr. Smith turns around and they shoot at him again. He goes, no. Yeah. Uh, uh, stop, whatever. And he takes the bullet and drops. And yeah. then he, and, and Lawrence Fishburne goes, he is the one. He believed in himself. He didn't limit himself. He limited himself up until that point. And I used to think, oh, I get a sack. Oh, I got a sack. Okay. Oh, that's good. No, I, I don't know if I can get another sack. Oh, man. Oh, I get two. Oh, I don't know if I can get three. And I started, why can't I get it? Why say one is enough? Why, why am I limiting myself in anything I do? And as a football player, it changed me. I set the sack record that year. I didn't have a sack the first three games of that season. So to get all those sacks, it was in 13 games. It's incredible. Which I look back and go, holy smoke. But it was, I don't know. I just would go and go. And I didn't say, okay, Michael, that's good enough. It was like, okay, Michael, you got one. Go get two. Go get another one. And go get another one. routines are very simple. I find out what the job is and I bust my ass to get it done. And it's not, half the stuff is not that complicated. 